Hey, ladies and gents, it's Zem back, and we are looking at, um, all right, so with the, with the whole change in, uh, being able to move factories and depots and all that kind of stuff, I'm trying to play with this a little bit here, and, uh, I'm going to start trying to use, uh, our resource depot, all right, there's our typical resource depot right there, uh, you know, you take materials there to be refined, uh, you have to use a mining ship, then transport the materials to the mining ship, or from the mining ship, you have to transport it to the refinery, and the refinery has to refine it, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mobile refinery uh, where we're going to take that refinery and we're going to move it f from where we got to go or from here at our home base. And we're just going to keep dropping into the system as we work through, uh, you know, whatever area we're in. Now, I already have one set up now. Well, it's not, it's, it's just starting. So there's the reseal. So resource depot here so we're gonna look at the how how we did this uh, about the whole so since we're gonna build a resource depot here you know we're gonna build the ship right and then we're gonna use it to uh, we're gonna pick it up and move it with our docking and then we're gonna take it there and we're gonna drop it off and we're gonna look at it when I get there so we're just showing you the process if you're not familiar with this process yet all right, so this is going to be our fake resource depot right here. He's actually called fake ship. So we're going to get close enough here to dock with him. Um, it's a little tricky because it actually requires certain distance, a certain angle. There we go. All right, so we're going to dock him to our ship. This is our make-believe depot ship. All right, and we're gonna pick our spot where we're going. Now, I already have the depot, the depot set up here. We're just showing how to do this. And that there has a energy energy suppressor satellite as well. Uh, because when I jump in and out of here, I don't want anything to do with that uh, possibility that I might have something to jump in. And I'm All right, so we've jumped into system. We have, that's the one I set up. And that is my, so this is actually one of those really weird systems. This is the most contained, the largest container fields I've ever seen. There's container fields everywhere here. Besides my broken sky, I'm once again, I'm trying to figure out what happened, why that got all screwed up here. So in this instance, we're going to move our mobile, whatever, over to the general area. This is going to be where we're going to mine. Once we're here, we're going to, of course, undock it. And then we're going to move off. And we're going to take that fake ship and we're going to turn it into that. So now we, what's interesting is even in this mode right here, and I'll show you when I jump over into this one, uh, I can carry fighters on here. Even if it looks like, so if I have fighters on here and I turn it into that, I don't lose the fighters. Um, it'll turn back into what I want here. Same way with slots. Right now that ship over there is a whopping... Uh, four slots uh, this ship over here or this station is I believe eight slots and the, the whatever I have on here for systems I don't lose them even if I'm dropping to a smaller ship with less slots uh, they just simply they, they stay there they, they don't get destroyed or any of that kind of stuff same way with the fighters even though that other ship doesn't have a hangar or any ability to carry uh, fighters I still don't lose my fighters so being able to transport it in that smaller that smaller package uh, to this location here now I only have I think 20,000 cargo roughly on this thing you can of course put a lot a lot of cargo on here and the nice thing about it is you're never gonna have to screw with the whole your ship is too weak to be in this area so this thing's gonna be able to uh, mine material process it in the system uh, and not be really screwed with. I mean, this thing is only 1.29. Of course, I can enlarge it quite a bit more for relatively cheap. Right now, this is only 250,000, roughly 250,000. Um, yeah, 200, uh, 300,000 iron. So it's only 300,000 iron right now. It's got 29,000 trinium. Of course, I didn't need to use trinium. Um, but yeah, so 294,000. And I could double that and give me another almost 3 million HP um, 
and this thing would be pretty hard to destroy. You wouldn't have to worry about it leaving it here. I mean, there is some advantages of using these large data trades, uh, especially since there's going to be a resource depot, it would even work even better. So something I'm playing with, uh, something you guys can possibly think about. I think this is, we'll give it orders here. Since I have that, I, I'm just going to tell it to mine. So it should mine when it pops out of, uh, so I just switched this from transport to station here not too long. Oh, there he goes. The miners are up and ready to roll. Yep, so she's starting to mine. Now they, they of course transfer it all back to that ship. So here's the tricky part. I'm trying to figure out how to make this work with the, um, to, to continually uh, redo it, uh, to continually refine resources itself. I think I'll be able to do it from the other map, but I'm not sure. Even if I have to jump in, usually the, the, I have enough cargo on space here, I can t clean this entire system out um, of mineable material. And then when I transport it to wherever I go, and when it starts working on the next system, I just switch it over to refine and it refines all the stuff it got from one system. So either and or, I'm gonna to try to work on it a little bit and see how this works. So if you guys think this is a good idea, let me down below, or if you guys have tried something different, or possibly, you know, with these with the mobile with the mobile refinery, the way this is working, uh, this might be the way I'm gonna go, uh, instead of using multiple, multiple uh, mining ships. But you know, let me go, I think you guys think down below what this idea is, see if this is gonna be even viable, uh, and let me know.